Let us try to solve some miscellaneous problems. Miscellaneous in the sense that uh, the questions will try to confuse you, say different things. But then if you just uh, approach it step by step logically, then you should be able to solve it very easily. So let's have a look at this question. What does it say? It says if the pth, qth, rth and sth terms of an AP are in GP, then show that these three terms are also in GP. Okay, so what do we do? Let's just start with the first part. We have an arithmetic progression here. So let's say we assume that the first uh, term is A and the common difference is D for this arithmetic progression. Now it says that the pth term, qth term, rth and sth terms of an AP are in GP. So let's first write our pth term. So pth term will be A plus P minus one times d right similarly you can write for q a plus q minus 1 times d uh, rth term will be a plus r minus 1 times d and s sth term will be a plus s minus 1 times d now what does it say it says that these terms are in a gp that is tp tq tr and ts these are these terms are in a geometric progression so what do we mean when they are in geometric progression that the ratios will be fixed that is tq by tp should be equal to tr by tq similarly ts that should be equal to ts by tr so first let's make uh, use of the first fact that tq by tp must be equal to tr by tq that is this ratio should be equal to this ratio now just a little fact is that a little trick to think about is that if we have a ratio something like this a by b is equal to c by d and let's say we say this as k now if we take a ratio where we take the uh, difference of the numerator and denominator that is if we take a minus c divided by b minus t then what will a be a is k times b right so a is k times b and c is k times d therefore we will have again k times b minus d by b minus t which will again be equal to k which i mean to say what i mean to say is that a by b is equal to c by d and this will also be equal to a minus c times b by d so if there is a ratio and then you take the uh, difference of the numerators and divided by the difference of the denominators then it will still be the same ratio this fact uh, comes into use many times so it's a little bit of trick and we will use this fact here that this should be equal to tq minus tr divided by tp minus tq now tq minus tr let's say what it will be here tq minus tr tq minus tr therefore a and a will get cancelled out and we will have q minus 1 minus r plus 1 that is we will have q minus r times d right this will be tq minus tr and tp minus tq tp minus tq will be a and a will get cancelled out and we will have p minus q times t p minus q times t therefore this gets cancelled out so we have tq by tp as q minus r by p minus q okay now let us uh, solve the second part let us make use of the other ratios so what will we have we have ts by tr should be equal to tr by tq or following the same thing we can write this as ts minus tr by tr minus tq and if you again follow it ts minus tr will be s minus r right s minus r times d divided by tr minus tq will be r minus q r minus q times d now 
if since it's given that these terms are in a GP therefore this ratio should be equal to this ratio right therefore what we get here is this thing should be equal to this thing that is Q minus R divided by P minus Q is equal to S minus R by R minus Q which we can also write as R minus S by Q minus R therefore this is the thing that we had to show here that P minus Q Q minus R and R minus S are in GP therefore we have P minus Q comma Q minus R and R minus S are in GP and why because this ratio Q minus R by P minus Q is equal to R minus S by Q minus R R minus S by Q minus R so since this ratio is equal this implies that this is the case and this is what we had to prove in this question so these are kind of question where you need to just you know, follow the approach step by step and then you need to think a bit differently a slightly differently and then you'll reach at the conclusion let's have a look at one more example it says abc are in gp okay so abc are in a geometric progression what does it imply it implies that b by a should be equal to c by b or we can also say that b square is equal to ac okay so let us keep this thing in our kit what does it say the second part says that this ratios are equal that is a to the power 1 by x is equal to b to the power 1 by y is equal to c to the power 1 by z and we need to prove that x y z are in ap okay so let's say this thing is equal to k so what will we have a is equal to k to the power x b will be equal to k to the power y and we will also have c is equal to k to the power z and now let's use this relation b square what will b square be b square is equal to ac therefore b square here is k to the power 2y and what is a k to the power x and c is k to the power z which will be x plus z therefore what we have here is x plus z is equal to 2 times y or we can write this as y is equal to x plus z by 2 therefore we have y as arithmetic mean or uh, we could also write this as y minus x is equal to z minus y therefore this implies that x y and z are in ap y minus x is equal to z minus y or y is the arithmetic mean of x and z so this proves let us try to solve this question it says pqr r in gp so pqr you have gp pqr r in gp therefore q by p must be equal to r by q or q square must be equal to pr so this is what we have here next it says that the equations this and this have a common root then we need to show that these things are in an ap okay so let's take the first equation px square plus 2qx plus r is equal to 0 now from quadratic equation we can write its solution x is equal to minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac divided by 2a now if we use this factor that q square is equal to pr so what will we have here 4pr minus 4pr so this term will be 0 so there is just one root which is equal to minus q by p so for this equation we have just one uh, solution now it says that this equation and this equation has a common root therefore this thing has to be its solution so we could substitute this value of x into this equation here dx square plus 2ex 
plus f is equal to 0. Therefore, if we substitute x here, then what are we going to get? d q square by p square plus 2e q by p or this thing here will be minus taking the sign here plus f is equal to 0. If you simplify it, you'll get dq square minus 2e p q and then again you'll have one more p here p f and the p square goes to other side it becomes zero now just see what we need to prove here we need to have d by p e by q f by r so let's how do we get here d by p we divide it by p q square so let's say we divide this equation by p q square then what will we get dq square divided by pq square it will be d by p minus here we will get 2 e by pq square so p and p will get cancelled and we'll get e by q plus what will we get here p and p goes out and then we'll get f by q square f by q square and q square is Sorry, when we simplified this, we would have p square here from this p square. So we will have here is f p square. So p and p gets cancelled. So we will have f p divided by q square and q square is p r. This thing will be equal to zero. So we have here is this f by r. Therefore, what we have here is e by q is equal to 1 by 2 times d by p plus f divided by r or e by q is the arithmetic mean of d by p and f by r therefore these three things are in an arithmetic progression d by p e by q and f by r these are in and ap so these are some kind of questions which you may find in your examination somewhere where the examiner is just trying to confuse you a bit trying to yeah you may think of it like a jigsaw puzzle or something like that where you have the knowledge you have the concepts you just need to go through it step by step and then see what is asked in the question and try to prove that thing